Today's the day we get ready for Dad's solar install. Stay tuned and see how we do it. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Throughout North America, we're on the road. It's Powhan of Travels. Here we go. Okay, guys, so today is Monday. I'm expecting my dad to be here with his fifth wheel any minute now. I've got the basics of the solar system set up here. Uh, everything is in except the solar panels. <laughs> Woo. But I believe they're coming in tomorrow. I gotta double check that shipping order. I, I believe they're tomorrow. So what we got here is six. Uh, I'm sorry, we got here is four six volt batteries. And I've already started to pre-wire the, the connecting uh, connecting wires and all that using 4 aught uh, welding wire and then a heavy crimper. Heavy duty crimper to get those 4 aught crimps done. Um, all the miscellaneous wiring, we got 4 gauge wiring, we got 6 gauge wiring, we got solar wire for the rooftop. We got the sub panel here on all the appropriate AC pieces and the wire clamps and 6-2 wire. That's all for the AC side on the sub panel. And over here, we've got the big bad MagnaSign hybrid 3000 watt Mac Daddy inverter. I'm a little jealous of dad having this. This is a nice one. This, this is the one that does 3000 watts and also will combine loads from like a generator and the battery for a peak use if, if you were, if you needed a high wattage uh, item to be used for a while. This guy will take battery power and uh, inverter power and make everything work better. And then over here is our Magnum Energy solar controller. This is the PT100 solar controller. And we've got the uh, advanced remote control here and the battery monitoring kit, both from Magnum as well. And then a, this is your uh, big, big huge T fuse for the DC side of things and this is just a general overview of some of the parts and pieces we'll go into more detail later on um, also got a bunch more of the little uh, parts and pieces here a negative bus bar off on switch a resettable circuit breaker ground bus bar another ground bus bar um, this is gonna be my combiner box on the roof we wanted a plastic combiner box, something that's sealable and weather tight. So we got we got that set up here. Solar panel mounts. Don't have the solar panels to mount to yet, but they'll be here. We will link the um, parts list as well as the diagram that I drew up for this uh, onto our web page. So there'll be a link in the description down below that'll direct you to the web page where you can find this information. Well, welcome to the fifth wheel. Um, just kind of looking at the uh, front bay here. Dad has already gone ahead and laid down some um, actually marine quality plywood on, over the floor and then they carpeted it with the outdoor carpeting here just so it looks nice. Half inch plywood. Half inch plywood down on the floor. So there's cutouts down below uh, for generators. Um, we didn't want those, or we wanted those cutouts to be watertight, so we put silicone around all those cutouts so when we put the plywood down, it did perform, or did form a nice seal so there's no water coming into this. So it'll be a much more climate controlled area. I'm not going to say watertight, but climate controlled. Sounds good. And I think the new stuff, our batteries and inverter will go here. Batteries will go over here on the far side. The inverter will go over here towards the middle. And then most of all, everything else will go up on this plywood on the backboard here. We're gonna move a couple things around and mount this plywood up on the back. So we have a clean surface to uh, screw to 
um, and we know that we won't be penetrating any uh, through any other walls and all that stuff. So it's going to be a little bit easier to install. These batteries here, these two batteries here, and this inverter are all going away. So they're going to gain this this room over here back. But we're going to, like I said, we're going to lose a room over there for the other stuff. So today's project, I believe, is just to get this stuff out, get down to where we can find our uh, chassis ground and our 12 volt positive line. So what's he doing? Uh, well, we want to mount a full sheet of plywood back here behind just to add, a, add for additional layer of attachment. Uh, and this is the slide control box uh, that we're removing. We're going to put the plywood behind that and then reattach the slide control box to the plywood. After a couple of precision measurements and precise cuts, I believe we've got the backboard on and ready to go. Or cut and ready to go. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Not so precision. On either one. This side's okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, somebody said 3x3 three three and I cut 3x3. Three three. Oh man, that's close. Well, there, there we go. Here's our empty workspace. We've got everything out. Uh, got the plywood mounted and the slide control mounted back on the plywood. I think it's about time to bring some batteries in. Start playing with the DC stuff. Batteries. Okay, what kind of batteries are they? These are full river, six volt, 224 amp hour, AGM batteries. And since we're using AGM batteries, we do not need to use a venting system for these because these are sealed, non-venting batteries. We're going to wire all four of these 6 volt batteries together to make two 12 volt batteries. <coughs> and then we'll have the positive line running off and the negative line running off. You know. So what we have is, uh, looking at my solar diagram here, kind of just following from the, from the batteries. First thing we're going to have in line on the positive side is the T-fuse, which is a 400 amp uh, catastrophic fuse. And the fuse will go into the off and on switch. And this will turn off everything for the DC and the AC side. So this will turn everything off right here. And then uh, from the negative side, we'll go into this uh, multi-position bus bar. And out of here, we'll go one line to the solar controller, <coughs> one line to the inverter, and another line to the uh, chassis ground. The inverter will sit there nicely. Uh, we'll just come off of this, off the positive line, right to this, and then the uh, off on switch right here. It can be short, however, however long it need to be. But this is this just feeds the inverter and then the existing 12 volt. So, the, that, will that leave enough room for for venting for the inverter if I put a shelf right, right I'll here? read the specs. Um, the magazine, the install manual is here, and I'll read those specs and make sure how much room it needs on top. The main vents are in back, and then on the front, back of the front and the back side over here. So the most important part is back is on the either side here. I think they allow. <coughs> I mean, you're, you're going to have. Does it have an internal fan? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It's got fans in there. You're going to have <coughs> three inches here anyway. Yeah. All right. So we're uh, trying to determine the layout of all the different switches and controls and such and stuff. Um, we're going to put the solar controller up on the wall right about here, and then the T, T fuse will go here. And the negative ground bus bar will go down here. And the off on switch will go right about there.
Put that is crimped on there nicely. Finish it off. Cut it. You got something to mark it with? No, I got my thumb on it right here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to splurge for the big, huge cutters. So I got I me mean, some putt cutters that I have to work with. Once again, this is a 4 aught um, welding and battery cable. What makes it so nice to work with is it's fine uh, braided copper, or not braided copper, but just, just all the, the copper strands are very nice and fine, so it allows movement uh, within the within the cable nicely. You know, four aught, a four gauge solid copper is super stiff and hard to work with. This is just a little easier to work with. Perfect. That works out great. Seeing that we can put the lug basically upside down so it stays lower to the battery. Lower to the battery. <coughs> Keeping your clearances right a little lower. It's a little long. It could have gone shorter, but it's going to work fine. Um, not going to hook them up now, though. No sense in putting energy to anything yet. Right. <laughs> so now for the next wire, we need to wire from the T fuse to the off-on switch. So we need one with bare ends and one with lugs. And we just need to get a measurement on that. After that's on the inverter. Looks like that's gonna work. What do you think? You look like you're a professional. I don't know about that. I am not a professional. I own an RV so I tinker and dabble in my own stuff. I've never been trained to do any electronics, any electrical, no plumbing, no nothing. I'm just researching and referring to folks who do know to get my information. And it's official. <laughs> <laughs> that disclaimer is very official. <laughs> we are not official. <laughs> That'll work. I don't see why that won't work. All right, so this is going from our, so this last wire I just added is going from our off on switch down into the inverter. And then the next wire we got to consider is uh, the wire to power the rest of our 12 volt system and with that because it's a tw on the 12 volt system and not being pulled with it or not being pulled through the inverter we can use the six gauge wire we don't need to use the heavy duty stuff so I think that's the next all right and so what you do is you look around to see what you have laying around and available I needed this really small ring hole over here and it came off of dad's old setup so we're gonna put it right back on dad's old setup right here this was his original 12 volt feed line for his dc wow talk about perfect length well i cut it oh i cut it to the perfect length <laughs> no, you're supposed to say I'm not good. <laughs> no, I, I, I am. I cut it to that perfect length. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that almost finishes up the positive wire system. That's just kind of the that's the bulk of the system, I guess. 
We go from the battery to the T-fuse to the off-on switch. One leg goes to the inverter, the other leg goes to the house 12-volt system. Pretty easy. Well, that's actually a fuse. It's a fuse. 400 amp T-fuse. If that blows, <laughs> there's a problem somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to talk about, uh, look at negative, the negative run. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.